Hey guys, it's Kaylee here. Welcome to another episode of 365 Things, my 365 day project in releasing at least one item every day for 365 days. I'm changing that intro because I clearly haven't popped in in a little while, but I've been really wanting to get back on this channel and let you guys know that I have not completely disappeared from this space. So I am... I guess this is kind of the point where I start to merge my channels together, I guess. I feel like I'm going through this purging, finally. <laughs> um, as you can see, things are still a work in progress behind me, but the important part is that they are in progress. So this upcoming weekend, I am going to be going with my best friend to do uh, two ayahuasca ceremonies. And um, there's a few things that have brought me to this point. I was very nervous to share this information for a while because my tendency is to fear the judgment of others. <laughs> and being able to you know, start this channel and to be transparent about um, just kind of my immediate environment has really helped to break through some of those barriers. So a few reasons that I am going um, all are surrounding um, my relationship with myself and my health and the reason that I have decided to go through the path of uh, ayahuasca is that it helps to from what I understand and all I understand is from you know reading books but but what people have um, found is that it actually helps to reprogram uh, patterns that you developed at a very early age and for me, I know that, um, and I talk more about this on my other channel that I talk about food and, and diet and health and all that, but I feel like a lot of negative patterns were imprinted me unintentionally um, by myself and those around me, and they have helped me get into the situation I am in today, including this external thing. And I truly, the more I go through this process and the more that I'm consistent with the cleaning and then I notice that I have this, like, you know, I feel better in my body. There's this huge connection between the internal and the external. And I feel like this channel is going to, um, be a lot more consistent once I come back uh, after this weekend. I am really excited for episode 33 coming up because I have a special challenge uh, upcoming and I'm preparing for that and I think I'll probably post that um, when I return on Monday. We've got cats hopping around. I've been moving furniture and giving the cats places to play. <laughs> Um, okay, so I don't want to make this video too long, but that's kind of uh, something that's been going on. There's been just a lot of uh, emotional turmoil in my life in the last long time, but, but immediately in the last month. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of that's what's happening. So I am not going to show you every single item anymore. I don't think that that's necessary. Uh, but what I am going to do um, is show you that in the process of just kind of tidying up and folding laundry and Conmarie folding my shirts in my drawer, I managed to fill this entire bag with uh, stuff to be donated, mostly clothing. There's a couple shirts, a sweater, I think there's a pair of pants, um, there's a gift that I received that I will never use, and uh, yeah, so this, this, this is like a good couple pounds. This is probably like, this is probably like, I don't know, eight or ten pounds worth of stuff. Um, this is like the size of my torso being removed from my space, so that's awesome. 
So I think just ongoing and be like, okay, I found this bag. I'm just going to fill it and let it go because 365 things um, is going to uh, not put a dent in this space. Uh, one other thing I wanted to just kind of say thank you to, there was one uh, viewer that commented a while ago about instead of focusing on what I'm letting go of, why don't I focus on 365 things that I want to hold on to or things that I definitely want to keep because I would say that most of my surroundings, it's a like, I don't know if I'm ready to get let go of that yet. It's a maybe. Most of the things around me are maybes. And so maybe what I do instead, and I really loved, you know, this kind of sparks my, sparks my ideas for me. What I, you know, maybe will do instead is each day focus on that, like, one thing that I definitely want to hang on to. And the only thing at the top of my head that I can guaranteed say that about right now um, is actually not even here. It's at my mom's place. I have I have a shelf stack of moleskin notebooks, probably about, you know, 12 or 14 inches long on a shelf. Um, all my sketchbooks and journals from when I was in college and it was the time in my life where I first started using color in my drawings and for some reason I had so much less fear with exploration when I had that you know cover to close and that is like the one thing if there was like a fire or a flood or like a you know natural disaster or some other kind of disaster that is the thing that I go and I grab and I protect and um, it's funny that something so important to me actually isn't even with me right now. Um, but that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head, like, immediately. And, like, my laptop and memory cards with all my photos, probably. Yeah. Anyway, it feels good to be back. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you made it till the end of this video, um, you know, give me a little thumbs up or say hey down below. Um, if you have any tips on um, myself working through this prog process, I'm totally open to anyone's advice. Um, advice, feedback, all that stuff. I think the more consistent I am showing up uh, on this channel, the more likely it is that you'll actually start to see a dent behind me because I'll be, you know, consistently doing that. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'll see you guys um, after the weekend. Uh, and maybe I'll share a little bit about what I experienced. Anyway, thanks. Bye.